Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This is the Redbeard Grind, and I'm Redbeard. I'm a full-time eBay and Poshmark reseller, and I post these videos Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Except for yesterday. Yesterday was 10 a.m. Sorry about that. I had technical difficulties. I had scheduled it to go, and it, it just didn't work, but uh, I got it up eventually. So um, if you're here, I just show you what I sold and um, where I got it how much I sold it for and how much I bought it for. So that hopefully you can go out and find these brands yourself. I sell mostly clothes and uh, some other things, but it's usually, usually clothes. And uh, I just share these videos so that hopefully you can go find some stuff. I got a Facebook group. If you want to join it, it's in the description below. We all just share bolos and information and help each other out there. Uh, so if you're interested in that, please join. And there's all kinds of attachments too uh, in the group that you can get great information for. Um, so let's jump into this. Let's do this. I try to go fast. So don't waste your time. Uh, this is October 16th. I did 438 sales. I did 13 sales on eBay. And I'm going to show you one thing from Poshmark, one thing from Macari. I had sales on every platform yesterday, which was good. Um, I like that. Wish that would happen all the time. So there's going to be a theme here. You're going to see. Uh, I, I'm selling the hell out of diesel jeans right now. This is diesel, 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 diesel. Um, because I'm listing a bunch of diesel jeans. So, uh, But they're all different styles. And they're... Diesel jeans in general are, I think, a good thing to look out for. Um, so these sold fast. I listed these originally as men's, and then I changed it over to women's uh, because I had a bunch of men saying, hey, I think these are women's, and I had a bunch of women saying, hey, are these? Are you sure these are men's? Um, but this is the Faza, the Faza jog jeans. And uh, let me show you the tags so that they have, like, a tag telling you that it's this um, sweatpants, denim plus sweatpants uh, Faza. So these are really popular. I listed, I've listed two pairs of these and both of them sold within days of listing. Um, I had taken this listing down, I think the day before yesterday and then relisted for women. And I actually had people emailing me saying, Hey, are you going to relist that? That's, I mean, the, the phase, if I'm pronouncing that correctly is really popular. So if you see that, don't pass it up. It doesn't feel like normal denim. It's pretty, it's very stretchy and a little bit light, but people are after it. Um, sold it for forty nine eighty seven easily, and the other one went in the forties too. It was just a different style, and I th I think I listed that as men's too. But I noticed that a lot of them are are listed as unisex, so I guess it goes either way. Um, but the other one looked a little more like men's. The pockets were deeper and a little regular. So yeah, diesel. If you don't let me show you the um, they still have their little logo here on the pocket, which is hard to see in this pic. Uh, to recognize it and then on the back I don't know if there's anything on the back you'll see diesel there right there so don't pass those up diesel is a good brand there are styles that don't sell well so just comp the style when I say style I mean the name of the the jeans <clears throat> and the name is almost always in the waistband like in this area like this um, and if it's not look through all these tags they will usually on the the last tag or second to last tag there'll be mod which means model and then i'll have the name you want that name in your title so that people can just go right to it so these are these have uh, little paint spots all over them this is the thavar jeans and i listed these october 4th they went for 40 bucks um, and i'm sourcing these on whatnot by the way i didn't go to goodwill to get these i do find these at goodwill and i pick them up for six ninety nine all day long at Goodwill in the Houston, Texas area. Even for nine ninety nine, ten bucks, I pick these things up and sell them. I don't find them at the bins ever. Uh, I think think I'm too slow. Other people are beating me to them. But uh, at Goodwill, I do find these uh, fairly often. And then on whatnot, you can go. Uh, you can just look at all the listings. You can even buy these on on eBay if someone um, you know does like a an auction for one dollar and no one bids on it. You get lucky and find them. But yeah, this is the Thavar. Denim, these sold fast also. And there's your tags right there. This is the sweatpants also. Uh, those are apparently very popular. And I don't know much about it. I don't know if th I'm assuming they still make these, but I don't know. I really don't know. But that's the uh, what you're looking for right there. I've had three pair that I've listed with the, that sweatpant material, and they're all gone now. And this was the cheapest one. This one went for 46 with all the shipping. That one went for 52 The other one went for in the 40s or 50s also. All right, let's keep going. Levan, Levan, not sure how you pronounce that, but that's that's the name of this one. So this is more like a typical diesel jean that I'm used to finding out in the thrift. You got your little um, logo on the coin pocket there, and there's a dead picture for some reason. Happens occasionally. This is your normal tags. They're, they're usually made in Italy, 
um, or Romania, Tunisia, places like that. Um, I do have one that I listed yesterday that was made in China. Uh, I don't come across the China stuff that often. I'm looking for the, I guess this is the, uh, is this there. There's the model right there because it's not in the waistband. The name and style is not in the waistband. Look on it. So this is like the second to last tag. And it says MOD Levan. Levan, Levan, however you pronounce that. And then you got the length also there. So check that out. Don't miss that information if you don't have um, the typical waistband info. All right, true religion. Oh, and if you're still here, I got a bolo at the end of this video. So hang around for that. I got a good bolo uh, that I'm going to go over. I keep meaning to say that at the beginning, and I can never remember to do that. Um, I'll have an intro video one day that I perfect and just launch that instead of talking. So True Religion, these are these are a decent brand if you can find them for the right price. Some of these sell for more money than others. So again, check the style um, along with the brand and see if it's selling. This was a Ben's find for me. I got these for three bucks. Um, and uh, it was a no-brainer for me when I saw them. I didn't even comp them. They were made in the USA, which is, which is pretty good. A lot of these are made in the USA. And uh, this is the Ricky, Ricky Jeans which is a fairly popular style. And there's your True Religion 44, your size there. But um, yeah, finding these at the bins is a, is a no-brainer to pick up and sold them for, I think I took an offer like 30 or something like that. And um, just listed them this month. They haven't been listed that long. But there is, I do pass up a lot of these, especially at the Salvation Army and Goodwill. Uh, sometimes they can be too expensive, like the skinny jeans or something. All right, last diesel. We'll go over this. Uh, again, this is more like your traditional diesel jeans that maybe you will normally find. Let me see what kind of tag information we have there. This is the tag that I mostly see <clears throat> um, at the thrift. That's your style. And sometimes under the style name, they'll, they'll even have like Slim Fit or Carrot Top or whatever. Whatever kind of goes along with that style name. But this one's just uh, Riang. Uh, you definitely want to have this in your title. And then you got your typical tags. Made in Italy, and this one had stains all over it. Um, they were kind of light, mild stains. The zipper was broken on both pockets. And those are out of here for 32 bucks plus my dollar shipping. Let's see, what else? <clears throat> Vintage 1970, 1970 jeans. Get some, that's iced coffee, by the way, if you're wondering. Um... Vintage 70s. Let's see. These went for 39 bucks. I, You would think that these would go for more, but I've had these listed for a while. This is a relisting date. I'm lying to you. 14230. That's a new one. That's from the, This is from the bins. Um, I may have underpriced this. I don't know. Let's see. How do I know it's from the 70s? I was, maybe I took that number. I don't know how to read this tag, really. There's different tags. Like some of them I know how to read. Some of them I don't. There's like a whole history on them. Uh, Levi's tags. This is orange tab, which you definitely want to have in your title. It's instead of red with the white lettering, it's orange. I wish it said Levi's, but uh, they put that um, that copyright on there, like every hundredth tag or something. So orange tab. And here's 64% uh, cotton, 30% polyester. This is. I think what I did was I took this number here and I put this in eBay and found the exact jeans and copied someone's listings. And this says made in the USA right here. So sometimes you can get good information on this badge here or this patch. Uh, but yeah, just normal, normal Levi's made in the 70s. And when you have older jeans, you do want to take pictures of the front and the back of your tag. If you've got something that's just a, a home run, you'll want to take a picture of the rivet behind this, this button here. Um, because it's going to have some, it'll have a number on there that will correlate with the tag. It just helps your buyer like know, okay, this is um, legit. This is more likely not a fake because uh, there are some fake Levi's, especially for the vintage stuff. And yeah, so that if you if you see old old Levi's like that, by the way, this tag is is down inside on the side of the leg. It's not in the back of the waistband or in the fly area. It's 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 like almost next down in the hip area. Um, and in the uh, in the jeans, if you ever see Levi's, I mean Levi's always says like Levi's on the buttons and and all their rivets and everything. And if you can't find a tag anywhere and they feel old or look old, look deeper, look deeper into the jeans. And you if you if you find a tag down inside those on the side of the leg somewhere, you've you've probably got yourself something that's decent worth looking into. 
There's some more Levi's. So this is Levi's Silver Tab. If you're not familiar with Silver Tab, it's a product that sells really well and it sells for more money typically than the your standard Levi's jeans, especially if they're vintage, especially if they're baggy fit, loose fit. Um, I sold these for 32 bucks within a day or two of listing it. I did list those on October 15th. Um, I got, I bought these off whatnot. Also, this was a, uh, I was just randomly, I, I came across a guy that was just like, he's a reseller. Uh, he's got his, he's got tons of inventory and he was just letting stuff go. Cause he was trying to get money for his charity. And, and he put these up, did not describe the detail. I got them for seven bucks. Uh, plus I think five bucks shipping. So, and then I was going to buy more stuff from them, but this was the last item. So I got kind of stuck with them, but they were silver tab loose. And, uh, I just kind of trusted the guy, but they were filthy. I'll show you, I'll show you how bad they are. Like there's just, there's a hole there. He didn't say anything about it. there's stains pretty much all over. There's a hole there in the butt uh, and silver tabs will have a silver tab here. And the, the badge will say silver tab. All the rivets will say silver tab. The button will say silver tab, everything like that. These were loose fit, um, which sell really well. So just to show you the power of the brand, these sold for 32 bucks with all of these, these issues. I have sold silver tabs with a hole in the ass for in the $40 range. Um, so people are after them, they'll repair them and they'll fix them or they'll just wear them worn because they like that look. But yeah, 32 bucks, not too bad. I, I think with eight, 19, I was in $12 total for them. Um, <clears throat> my intention was to buy more from the guy, but he was like, had to go right after that. So and you can find all kinds of interesting people on whatnot and communicate with them and try to make deals and get bundles. Uh, it's a really, it's kind of opened my eyes to, uh, you can search out specific inventory and talk to people and they can help you out. It's great. Uh, this was uh Ben's fine. I'm going to, after this, I'll jump over to uh, Poshmark, but this is a Ben's fine, um, polo Ralph Lauren. I don't think it's, yeah, it's the modern tag. Uh, I got it for three bucks, sold it for 24, flipped it pretty fast. It was listed October 11th. So this type of stuff is starting to sell. Polo Ralph Lauren sells really well. I don't think I would pick this up for like six, seven bucks at Salvation or Goodwill, but three bucks at the bins. Um, and apparently it had flaws. What what are the flaws? Oh, it's got a big old bleach stain in the back. Right, right there. Bam. Um, so I still got 25 bucks for it just to share like the power of the brand um, and the seasoning. Like if this was summertime, this wouldn't have sold probably. Uh, but we are coming up in on uh, winter time and cold weather, and people are starting to buy all this type of stuff. All right, I wanted to share this brand with you. This one actually sat for a while. This is, I've had this for a year, I think. But I do buy this brand every time I see it, and I've never had a problem selling it with the exception of this one. But let me show you the tag. So this is Bushland. This is uh, a brand that's made in Texas. I don't know if they still make this stuff, uh, but made in the USA. I don't think I've ever seen any that was made in China or anything. I think all of it's been made in Texas. But like I said, I don't know if they're still um, in business or not. <clears throat> but every time I see this, this brand, I buy it, and I can kind of recognize it by their camouflage. All their camouflage isn't exactly like this, but it looks similar to this, like similar enough to where it just kind of pulls you in um, and lets you know, hey, this is Bushland. And um, this brand has always done well for me. Shirts. Uh, pants, everything, all the cam, and it's all camo. I don't think I've ever th found anything that wasn't camo from them. Um, but yeah, just keep your eye out for that one. If you see it, it's worth looking into. Let me show you that tag one more time. <clears throat> Bushland, copyright 1989. Um, okay, let's get over to Macari. I wanted to show you this because this this is a T-shirt that sold for 23 bucks. I was originally asking 27, but the guy sent me an offer. I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. So I bought this for three bucks at the Benz and um, it's crazy shirt. Let me show you the tag. How do I get rid of this thing? I'm new to Macari, so I don't know how to get rid of that. I wish I could show you the tag better. Let me see. Nope. There's nothing I can do. Um, but like kind of like right there, crazy shirt. That's the brand. This is an okay brand. And if you can find it, like even at Salvation or Goodwill for like two ninety nine or three ninety nine, um, you can you can flip these shirts for in the, at least fifteen sixteen bucks pretty fast. This particular one with this um, cat had a better sell through rate, and it's got pineapples on it. Um, and I think it had like pineapple. I hate the fact that I can't show you these pics. I got to figure out a way to do this better. 
um, for the next video. But Anadium have had a spot on it somewhere. I can't I can't tell. Maybe some discoloring. Oh, there. Here's the tag. All right, crazy shirt. Hawaiian original, made in El Salvador. And then on the sleeve, it had um, it had this uh, pineapple dyed crazy shirt. So this brand is okay. I'm not saying go out and buy it and you know or spend hours searching for it. I got 23 bucks for this one, and it was like a 3XL, I think. Um, so take that into consideration too before you go crazy with it. But it, it these always sell for me. They don't always fly off the shelf. Sometimes they set, but they always bring a decent amount of money. And um, it is always going to be dependent, I think, on the size, condition, and what, what you have on it. Some of them are more popular than others. All right, let's get over to the bolo. If you're still here, I appreciate, appreciate you hanging in with me. I got to take another drink of coffee. My throat's getting dry from all this talking and I need caffeine. All right, so yesterday, yesterday's bolo was, um, well, what was it? Mission something? I can't remember. Someone, someone in the comments will, someone will comment. But it was a good bolo, uh, and Jeff brought that to us. And, and then I ran across this triple lot while I was looking at that bolo, and I, wanted, I was like, I'll just do triple lot. This, this brand is phenomenal also. There's so many tactical or outdoor gear brands that bring in tons of money that are not like globally known or like well known. And as you're in, the, as you get into this business, you if, if you can find these things, you learn how they feel and how they look, and you can uh, you can. That's how I find a lot of these things. I found Triple Lot just by feel years ago. I was like, I know it's something, and I comped it. And I'm like, wow, this thing sells for a lot of money. So these guys are in, uh, I think they're in California. And let me get to the logo. And uh, they make tactical gear and, and performance gear, just like a lot of these other companies do. And people just go crazy over it. So it says Triple Lot right there, design on the uh, on the button. And the sell through rate is over 100%. This is men's pants used. And uh, I think there was like 89 listed and almost 140 sold. And in anything you you can do this with shirts, anything with this brand is going to have probably a great sell through rate. So there's their logo right there. Made in the USA. That's kind of what their tags look like. Um, there's California Republic tag there. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, that, that's it. So let's go over. Let's just look at some some more styles, and we'll look at some more logos, and we'll wrap up. But learn this. Commit this one to memory. And I'm going to add this to the bolo list. So that, um, and if you, I have a bolo list of every bolo I've ever put in video. It's in my Facebook group. Um, I have it attached in, in the community here, but I don't really update that one. I don't think I'm going to use the community section very often. So these, these things are like heavy duty. You'll know it when you feel it. It does not feel like it came from Walmart or Kmart. Um, it's really nice feeling. And that's the logo again that you're looking for. So let's just look at a couple more doomsday canvas. So maybe they, they name their stuff too, maybe. Here's some cargo pants. All oh, these are going for over hundred bucks. These I do have it sort of high to low. So this is like the best of the best. There's your logo again. Easy to spot. Triple lot design right there on the button. You get the point. There's cargo, padded knees, all kinds of stuff. So this is great for like combat gear. Here's some uh, looks like jeans. Let's take a look at those. Yeah, it looks like denim, but the look at the uniqueness of the pockets and the and the sewing. Button fly. Same tag right there. So if you see that tag, don't don't walk away. Even if it was in fair condition, I would probably go ahead and pick it up. There's another tag for the shirt, triple lot design. Oh, this is a three-piece bundle. Went for a hundred bucks. That sounds like a pretty good deal. And then some more pants. Really nice looking stuff, and and it feels really nice too. And the three years are almost, I think, almost four now. I don't. I've been doing this for a while, but I found this brand three or four times, and it always flew off the shelf, and it always went for a lot of money. All right, that's all I got, guys. Uh, it's Thursday for me, so you'll see this on Friday. So I hope you have a good weekend. Have a great weekend, man. The weather's beautiful here in Texas right now. So if you're having beautiful weather, enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you on Monday. Happy thrifting.